Welcome to Scarlet Lady. Well, it's certainly a miserable day in Dover. You can't see the cliffs, um, but we've certainly enjoyed our walk around the ship. Um, unfortunately, we couldn't really see the outside decks because obviously everything had to be covered and protected. But I can imagine out in the Caribbean, they would be absolutely fantastic. Um, I didn't have great expectations, if I'm totally honest, regarding the food. And I have to say, I've been blown away by the food. Um, last night we ate in a test kitchen, which is probably the best tasting meal I've ever had. So creative, um, the tastes were absolutely out of this world. The staff, again, considering, well, it hasn't set sail yet, it doesn't set sail for another five weeks or so, um, there's plenty of staff around. They all seem genuinely very happy, very pleased to be here. Um, very attentive, but without being stuffy, so relaxed, which is what I love. Um, if you get your dress code, it, it's literally what you feel comfortable in. Wear it, doesn't matter what it is. And uh, we've looked around the cabins. I mean, our cabin is a central terrace, which, to be honest, is fine, I think, um, unless you want to splash out a lot more on a suite. But it's certainly got everything you need there. Um, we did look at some suites, and yes, if you want to spend a few more sort of dollars, so to speak, then there's some, some lovely suites available. Uh, I like all the public areas. They're very sort of funky, quite, well, yeah, I think quite different to other ships. Uh, pretty much music changes depending where you are on the ship um, and last night went to the show and I'm certainly not a show person on any ship um, I did go and uh, it was well I sat on the edge of my seat <laughs> um, it was absolutely fantastic I can't remember what it was called though Amy what's it called? Dual reality Dual reality that was it yeah and it was an hour but it didn't seem like an hour um, Yes, I, I was sitting on the edge of my seat, but it was amazing, really amazing, very different to anything else I've seen on the cruise ship. Blown away by the um, what was it was 
Google, it was like this unnamed, untitled dance show thingy or something. But that was amazing. That was interactive. I've never seen anything like it on land or sea. Uh, that was incredible. That was just such a party atmosphere. And um, yeah, so the public areas are fantastic. They've got some, um, you know, little nooks and crannies where there'll be a bar in the corner or something. It's quite interesting use of decks, but outside, I mean, okay, we in rainy, blustery, cold in Dover, cold weather, not discouraging Dover, but <laughs> it's not the Caribbean, is it? But for once, there's actually so much, like, um, deck space used for bars and relaxing, and I think sometimes um, cruise ships don't use enough of their deck space for, you know, socialising, and, um, but I think this would be a great opportunity for that to, um, so also what else we enjoyed, Razzle Dazzle Brunch was fantastic. Um, yeah, I think it's really um, exceeded my expectations. It's because um, obviously you know, not gonna lie, I did have some doubts, but um, I think they've delivered.